Hallo zusammen und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Video. Lako Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Lako sets sail again with the Bremerhaven and Cuxhaven Navy watches. What makes these nautical timepieces so unique? We will hear after the intro. Watch lovers have been waiting a long time for this. We are back with the LACO Navy Watch series. On board with us today is Susanna Bienmeier from Marketing. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Amina. Good to see you. Welcome. Today we are talking about the new edition of the Bremerhaven and Cuxhaven with a reduced diameter of 39 millimeters. The watches have a historical predecessor, the Navy Pocket Watch from the 1940s. We can see it here. There is a whole lot of contemporary history here too, isn't there? Back in the day, these watches had exact specifications as to how they were supposed to look and be built. What were these pocket watches used for back then and who issued these specifications in the first place? Let's start with your second question. The specifications came from the German Naval Observatory in Hamburg. At the time, the pocket watches were used by sailors to transfer the time from the stationary time measuring points to the pocket watch and then to transfer the time from the pocket watch to the ship's chronometer on deck, so that time could be continuously and precisely measured at sea. Many LACO fans have noticed that the Navy watches in 42 mm were taken out of production some time ago. They are currently back with a smaller offshoot in 39 mm. What made LACO reconsider their decision and to reissue them? Well, quite simply, we are a small family-run company and that means we are still really close to our customers. We kept being asked about the watch, especially in the smaller diameter, and of course we responded to these requests. Hence the new addition of the large version with a diameter of 42.5 mm, and now the small sibling, so to speak, with the 39 mm. Und jetzt dazu noch das kleine Geschwisterpaar sozusagen mit den 39 mm. I can imagine that there might have been the odd challenge in getting the large model reduced to a smaller diameter, especially because the Unita's handwound movement is also very large. How did LACO solve that? Exactly right. As you say, this Unita's movement is very large and therefore it cannot be packed into a smaller case size. For this reason, we opted to use a Silita movement in the small versions with a diameter of 39 mm, also with manual winding. Specifically, the Silita SW261, always in a decorated version. A new movement usually results in new proportions. What effect did that have? Yes, first of all, of course, there are different movements that you can choose from. But the design aspect also played a very important role in the development. Firstly, to adapt the proportions to the case size and the watch. But at the same time, to ensure that the smaller versions with the 39 mm still match the larger ones and that they still presented a uniform image when placed next to each other. The fact that the small version not only looked balanced on its own, but also in combination with the larger ones, really proved to be a major challenge. But we were able to solve this internally and ultimately found the right movement for it. So that means that everything had to be tested down, all the way down to the smallest detail? How can we imagine that? Exactly. We had various design rounds to see what would look best, of course. But we also tried out different movements at different cases in order to achieve a successful result. And now let's have a look at the final result in detail. What do the two watches have in common? Zum einen ist sowohl bei unserer schwarzen Bremerhaven als auch bei der Herrn Cuxhaven das Gehäuse ein Edelstahlgehäuse, das gebürstet ist. 
For one thing, both our black Bremerhaven and the light-colored Cuxhaven have a stainless steel case that is brushed but has polished elements, such as the fluted bezel, which is completely polished. But also the crown, which is partly polished and partly brushed, which, if you look closely, looks really nice. On the other hand, both watches have a crystal which is very large and provides a perfect view on the movement. And of course, the movement in both watches is a hand-wound movement from Solita, which we just touched on briefly. And that's about it in terms of similarities. Das Handaufzugswerk von Celita hatten wir gerade schon kurz angesprochen. Und das war's dann eigentlich auch schon mit den Gemeinsamkeiten. We can already see a significant difference in the colors. But what are the differences between the two watches in detail? Im Detail. Richtig. Wie du schon sagst, ähm, den größten Unterschied sieht man äh, direkt auf den ersten Blick. Bei der right. As you said, you can see the biggest difference at first sight. The white enamel dial on the Cuxhaven and the black dial on the Bremerhaven. In principle, the dials are of course completely different, but there are still some similarities. These include the large Arabic numerals, the railroad minute track and the small seconds at six o'clock. Another difference is that the hands on the Cuxhaven are thermally blued. And on the Bremerhaven, the hands are painted black. But again, both are filled with superluminova on the inside, so that you can read the time easily, even at night. Bremerhaven sind die Zeiger schwarz lackiert, sind aber wieder beide mit superluminova innen ausgefüllt, dass man auch nachts die Zeit gut ablesen kann. Those were the differences between the dials, but we can also see another significant difference in the straps. Genau richtig. Bei unserer hellen Cuxhaven haben wir auch ein helles... Exactly, that's right. Our light-colored Cuxhaven also has a light beige-colored strap made of suede. The dark Bremerhaven has a black strap, but it's smooth and also made of genuine leather. That's why you shouldn't necessarily go swimming with these watches. Although they are water-resistant up to 10 ATM, I would still not recommend swimming. Genau, aber schwimmen würde ich trotzdem nicht empfehlen. 10 ATM water resistant with a case height of 9.8 mm. Genau richtig. Um, haben, haben wir so exactly right. We've managed it as it were, even though the case is relatively flat. Of course, guaranteeing a water resistance of 10 ATM is often important to many customers, which is why we always try to achieve this. Versuchen wir das auch natürlich um, Immer umzusetzen. Are there any alternatives for the straps that customers can choose from? Für die beiden Modelle bieten wir hauptsächlich. We mainly offer the two straps for these two models, but of course you can also attach any other strap with the same lug on the watch if you wish. The Laco website has a separate online store area where a customer can easily search for a new strap. What bandwidth do I have to filter by? For these models with a case diameter of 39 millimeters, the strap lug is 20 millimeters. This means that if you are on the corresponding page on the website, you can set the filter on the left-hand side for the strap lug width of 20 millimeters. And you can then find either a replacement strap or a different strap for both watches. You'll definitely find what you're looking for. But there are also one or two upgrade options, correct? Möglichkeit. Richtig, genau. Wie man es von Laco gewohnt ist, kann man auch bei den Uhren die ein oder andere Personalisierung noch dazu Exactly right. Just as you would expect from Laco, you can also choose one or two personalization options for the watches. Firstly, with our movement, which comes in the standard Elaboré version, but you can also choose the top quality level. It is also possible to have the sapphire crystal be anti-reflective on both sides, instead of only on the inside. And of course, our navy watches can also be engraved, on the inside of the case, but also on the back. Zum einen an der Gehäuseseite, aber auch auf dem Gehäuseboden. Also die erste Gravur gibt's kostenfrei. The first engraving is free of charge, and from the second engraving onwards, you pay a small surcharge. We've reached the end, Susanna. But one thing is still missing, and that's the packaging. If you choose one of our Navy watches, the watch will be delivered to your home in a classic travel case. There it is. Thank you very much, Susanna, for being here today. It was my pleasure, Amina. Hat mich auch sehr gefreut. Vergesst nicht unseren Laco YouTube Account zu abonnieren. Don't forget to subscribe to our Laco YouTube Account so you don't miss any new videos. You can also subscribe to our newsletter, which will keep you up to date 
and we are always happy to receive comments and feedback. All that's left to say is thanks for watching and see you next time. Danke fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Bis bald. Tschüss.